All right, I'm going to show you guys uh, just two quick secrets about working with um, an extra file here in Max. One of the things is, um, as I kind of showed you before, once you have your extra scene in here, um, you really can't move it, really can't do anything with it. Um, it's, it's just kind of in your file. Um, but you know, if you did need to say move it, uh, one of the things you can do is come into your create panel, come into your helpers, um, and create a dummy object in your file, select your XREF in the XREF scenes, and go ahead and select and bind it to that object. Once it is bound to that object, when I when I go and I move that object, um, I believe even if I scale that object, I can then do some, some basic modifications to that object. So if I need to nudge it this way, um, even if I need to move it by you know some precise increment, you know I could I could do that and move the file as I need to move it. Um, so that's one thing you can do with it. The other thing you can do is, is say I have this file set up, and I go and I uh, hit save as, and I'll just go into um, a folder here and save this out as my master basic lighting file. Hit save. So once I have this file saved, I'm kind of happy with it. Um, you know, let's let's say I have this project and um, I have this view set up, but you know I have a second scheme that I want to work with. What I can do is I can come into my references, come into my extra scenes, and you know just turn this off, leave it enabled, and then I would add just my second scheme to uh, essentially to my file here with the exact same lighting, exact same camera. Um, you know, and then if I need to tweak a view or tweak my lighting or, or adjust whatever, it'll apply to all of my different schemes that I have set up. So if I have five different options here um, for my site, I can easily just manage it through my XREF Scenes panel um, and control that stuff very easily and, and smoothly in Max. Um, the other thing I can also do is um, I can save this out as the master file. You see it's called Basic Lighting. And I can um, have something that's not related to this project. Maybe it's another project that I start um, later on. And if I have this set up and have the lighting and everything, you know, I can I can come in here and uh, select my my camera. You know, move it around, do whatever it is I need to do with it, um, and get it to where I need it to be with my new project in here um, into my new master file. So I can take other buildings that I'm working with, other projects and bring them into um, this master file with this lighting, this camera, and um, you know, again, just, just turn this guy off or simply just remove it and add in um, the files that I need to as I'm working with those XREFs um, and you know, working with my master file. So if I, I have some night scene that's set up or I have some day scene or, or whatever it is, you know, all my master files, I can have four different lighting scenarios and you know, all my building files, I can have four different schemes or I could even have different projects that I'm working with um, and it's all just managed through the extra F scenes um, and I can just simply just add stuff as I need to and um, control everything through that and have separate lighting files and have multiple projects with similar lighting um, just done very quickly so once I set it up once I don't have to set it up in each file um, I can just save the building file out and bring it into my uh, master file here so those are just a couple of little quick things to, um, that are very helpful to know about uh, extracting uh, your building projects into uh, a master file.